Nicholas! Nicholas! Nicholas, come to a microphone, Nicholas. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, Nicholas. So, uh, what? Is, what you you uh, knew there was a movie premiere? What is this movie? Uh, this is Furiosa, the Mad Max saga. Okay, so this is Mad Max. Uh, this is the next one. The last one was the action with the flames, and they're in the desert. They're riding around, and, the, and, the, and there's and, a lot more of that too. Oh, okay. neat. Yep. All, All right. right, so this is a so who is the person that does this review? Well, it's Bird. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> we were all staring at each other for a second. I was like, "All right, what's going on here?" So, Bird, yeah. you took Bird to the premiere of Furiosa. Well, it wasn't the premiere; it was the uh, the screening. It was the press screening this Monday. There it is. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is Bird out at the screening. I'm sorry, because I, I assumed the premiere for it would be in Boston. Uh, I just assumed for the red carpet premiere with all the stars would be held in Boston because obviously it was filmed here if it's in the desert. <laughs> so thank you for that, Nicholas. Uh, all right. So you and Bird went to go see the film Furiosa. Yes, we did. Yeah. And this is the movie review that Bird made. Yes. All right, here we go. Should I begin, Hardy? Yeah, go ahead. Can we use this for the radio? Yes, sir. What's your name? Bird. Okay, and what movie did we just see? Furiosa Mad Max Saga. Mad, Mad Max. Max Saga. Okay, uh... In well, Mad Max Saga, whatever. Yes. What? Did he have to turn around and look at the poster before he <laughs> answered that? He got stopped in the middle. I'm wondering. To, do you think he had to turn around to take that long? No, that's just him reading. Oh, okay. I look at his uh, ticket stub. I can't eat green. <laughs> eggs, eggs, eggs. <laughs> and ham. That's ham. Okay, and what movie did we just see? Furiosa, Mad Max... Saga. Mad, Mad Max. Max Saga. Okay, uh... In well, Mad Max Saga, whatever. Yes, it's one word. <laughs> what did you think of the movie? I recommend seeing it in the IMAX theater. You will not be disappointed with the action. I don't want to give too much away, but there's a Bigfoot on steroids and in a chariot and a chariot, which is a really cool chariot that I want. That's all I'm going to say. All right, what's the point of seeing it now? There's a Bigfoot on steroids and a chariot? There's a Bigfoot on steroids and in a chariot and a chariot, which is a really cool chariot. You wouldn't be able to believe it. This movie, it's hard to even explain. Not giving any way. Spoilers, though. It is a chariot. Is that what they're called? Whatever. Bird continues. Yeah, you can just give us a spoiler-free uh, review of the movie. It's the prequel from the last match. It's the, it's the <laughs> obviously that. It's the prequel from. It's it is, and if <laughs> that's if uh, you take Nyquil too early, you that's what happens when you take Nyquil too early. You prequel. It's the prequel from the last Mad Max with Tom Hardy. What is it? It's a prequel. Oh, boy. Curry College, ladies and gentlemen. Graduate has a diploma from Curry College. It's the prequel from the last Mad Max with Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Okay. It's right. so Mad Max. I'm sorry, with Tom Hardy and Charisse Theron. So it's... How does he get that right? How does he get... Well, the... Uh, they kind of, uh, I, I, I fantasize about it. Pretty close. Cherise? All right. Like Cherise? Like Cherise. I was more like impressed Charise. with that on, which he got. Well, yeah. that's because he lives in port a <laughs> yes. And the, that's a very common He's name. French. His last name is Marchand. Marchand. That's, that's right. Point. Yeah, know. yeah. What if he just like, started whipping, it out, whipping out like perfect <laughs> French? And that's why he speaks English so poorly. <laughs> So it's going backwards several years. It shows um, the actress in the um, Nature Beauty. What? That's Sometimes he just annoys me. Nature Beauty. Nature Beauty of the uh, Wastelands. Kind of like an oasis. Oh, the natural beauty of the wastelands? Is that what they're called? Whatever. 
<laughs> the Nietzsche beauty they, of the... <laughs> what the hell is he saying? I don't know. Beauty of the wastelands. Well, first of all, the way uh, th- there's nothing more beautiful than a wasteland. Oh, did you see the post-apocalyptic landscape? It was beautiful. Well, maybe you don't Man. understand what he's saying because you haven't seen the the first couple, and this one is a. It's a prequel from the last Mad Max oh, with right. Tom Hardy. It's a prequel. You should have seen Dresden after they bombed it. It was beautiful. <laughs> there's nothing quite as beautiful as a wasteland. It's a prequel. Nature beauty of the uh, wastelands kind of like an oasis so she lives in an oasis the bad people come they draw her the Gallagher's is that what they're called Nicola is very quick <laughs> with his someone oasis. was paying Never attention seen. yeah <laughs> whatever so basically it's south side Chicago they're leaving and sort of paradise into the north Chicago which is nicer is that, is that how you want to break it down because I- yes yes that's how I want to break it Thank down god he's here so basically, it's south side Chicago, they're leaving, and sort of paradise into the north Chicago, which is nicer. Is that, is that how you want to break it down? He understands the socioeconomic differences of the city of Chicago like no one I've ever well, heard. No, this, this will all get tied together. It all had to do with Nick's line, which was funny, but then he starts talking about Chicago. Because I know the movies in wait, Australia. What? Wait, what are you talking about? You said Chicago. Gallagher's. No, but he thinks he meant the Gallagher's from Shameless, which is set in Chicago, is what he was thinking. Okay. That's what he was thinking. You were making the Oasis reference, but he just heard Gallagher's and went, that's the one with the gay sex. Is that what they're called? Whatever. All right. There's so many references spinning around. (laughs) Everyone's too quick. It's like having Dennis Miller interview himself. (laughs) There's just so many obscure references going around. That's what happened. Is uh, what happened is he heard Oasis. He made the clever line of the Gallagher's. Then he heard Gallagher's and went. Went they the Shameless was set in Chicago, and, 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 that's and, the and he said, yeah, "Okay, so they're like smashing watermelons everywhere." Yeah, because you said Gallagher, <laughs> and I thought maybe that's what you meant. Hey, look, it's a big couch. He found a big quarter because changes in couches. <laughs> The bad people come, they end up... Oh, well, that's... Yeah. Often how it works. Too quickly. The bad people come, they end up taking her, and... Chris Hemsworth's character... Awful plastic nose, by the way. They did a terrible job with that. So he k- takes her, and then there's a... And then um, there's three gangs in three different areas. He takes over that one. I don't want to give that away. And they have to come to a mutual agreement with the other main villain in the previous Mad Max movie. Dude, this is like the first quarter of the movie. Why are you taking so long? Oh, okay. You should break it down and break it down. All right. All right. So much is going on. When Nick is the superior one intellectually, there is a whole mess of uh, Curry. The bad people come. I want to get the president of Curry College on to explain this to me. How this kid passed the class, let alone graduated. Great, great battle scenes occur in this movie. What? <laughs> great battle scenes occur in this movie. Oh, occur is oh, now a cure. I thought it said a cure for like cancer or something. I, you know, it's weird. That, there's no cure for cancer, stupid. Great, great battle scenes occur in this movie. It is amazing. A what? I said a great occurrence of battles oh. happen in this movie. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a great action thriller. You'll enjoy it. It's just like the last one, but more action, more excitement. Uh-huh. Cool vehicles. Uh-huh. Cool vehicles. A lot of origins. A lot of what? A lot of origins. <laughs> vehicles and a lot the, of origins. I thought he said oranges there. Those are second. uneaten oranges. <laughs> just like oranges. everyone's throwing orange slices. No, like after, no, no. After a battle scene, no, a nice, rehydrate. When you get a nice pure <laughs> orange, it's an orange. Ah. It's, nev- it's never been touched. Okay. It's when you pick them off the tree. Okay. It's an orange. <laughs> what? No one's, no one's sullied this one yet. The skin is its time. What kind of movie is this? The bad people come. Boo, boo. 
a lot of origins coming in, into this one too. Which one was your uh, favorite vehicle? Oh, the big, the Bigfoot on steroids. That was my favorite one. I like the, ch- I did like the chariot, the motorcycles. That's a close second. Okay, so he's talking about the monster truck Bigfoot, right? Which has been in every Mad Max, you know, the crazy vehicle, but he re- that re- really got to him. Well, you know, it really made an impact on him. You know, simple people love big cars. <laughs> they really, I mean, these are the kind of people that are at the tractor pulls. Let's be honest. I, I I love the Monster Jam. Absolutely, you do. Very loud. There's dirt. It's cool. All right. So how many uh, how many porch parties do you give? I get a four point seven out of five. Wow. Oh. Uh, four point seven. Wow. You have to get very specific. That's better than any other rating we've had. Well, this is for Bird. I mean, this is there's no plot or dialogue. There's just I would imagine there's Nick. Is there very little plot and dialogue? Is this basically just, it's just straight action? Yeah, yeah, it's just all, this is, this is a movie for Bird. Like, fire, fire, put pie. All right, so how many, uh, how many porch parties do you give? I get a 4.7 out of 5. Wow. No, it was really good. People would not be disappointed watching this. This is a lot of gut-wrenching, gut-wrenching um, sequences. A lot of people would be going, ooh, ugh. So there's a lot of vomiting in the theater when it's over? A lot of people are going, ooh, oh. <laughs> Play it again. <laughs> ooh, oh. <laughs> ooh. I hear something saying. <laughs> a lot of people go, ooh, ah. <laughs> Wait, Wait, a lot if you don't believe in evolution, <laughs> listen to that. Ooh. He could be in a zoo. I hear something <laughs> saying, ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, he would, he would be the guy fl- flinging feces at you as you looked in horror. <laughs> and finally, uh, Bird uh, encapsulates everything. What else is new? What's new in your life? I got a full-time job. Okay. Oh! That's about right. burying the lead, my friend. All right, uh, Bird has a full-time job. What oh. could Bird possibly be doing? What else is new? What's new in your life? I got a full-time job. Whoa! Congratulations. Wait, wait. I'm going to give them a few seconds to figure out what I am doing. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. Well, now, I know, the, I know the answer. Okay, so let's okay. slow down. What do we know he's done before? He has... Security peeled, work at Fenway. Security work at Fenway. He has peeled bananas. Literally, his... I'm not dismissing mm-hmm. it. His job was to literally peel and cut banana, bananas at a smoothie bar. Yeah. Nothing else. He did not make the smoothies or do anything else but cut... Th- then peel and slice the bananas. Mm-hmm. Uh, does anyone else remember anything else, Dan? You remember? Mike Mike has said he's done play by play for high does. school hockey. Every, every, every high school basketball. He still does. Too. Northeastern yeah. baseball, because he's out at the Northeastern right. baseball game. He's worked at TD Garden, I believe, as well. I saw him there security during there, the tournament. Yep. Right. Yep. But he's no longer doing security at Fenway, which okay. is, he was great at it. He really was good at it. He's right. teaching math at Curry. That's what he's doing. Curry's yeah. been insulted enough with his whole set. <laughs> How dare you? All right, what would Bird be doing? All right, he's so driven, he's driven for a lift. Uh, oh yeah, for he's a driven. Ride share, he, oh, yeah, but company. he didn't like that. He didn't like that because no one was hiring him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has done a podcast with a guy who's now a college professor, and that's not a joke. <laughs> that's not a joke. Yeah, dude is now a college professor, which was. Uh, out and and doing well before all these other podcasts, it really was. It's the prequel from the last Mad Max. With well, Tom it's Tom. a prequel to all these other podcasts. I, I don't. Want, I'm great. not trying to be funny because I'm trying to think of like what Bird could actually be doing. Something he's bar well, he's I bar don't. backing. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to say he's going to he's a driver for a limo company. That's what I'm guessing. That's not a bad guess. What what is this to celebrate your pregnancy? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. I twenty five percent tip of stand. This is a lot of gut wrenching. <laughs> All right, here we go. What else is new? What's new in your life? I got a full time job. Whoa! Congratulations. Wait, wait. I'm gonna give them a few seconds to figure out what I am doing. I work at Easy Disposal. Easy Disposal. Yes, it's a garbage company, but I'm not doing garbage. Oh. I'm just painting tins. It's basically. 
He's pa- painting what? T- he's painting garbage cans? He's painting the tins. The t- oh, so you when, throw the garbage in. So when you go to the town that every tin, every garbage can looks like a Pollock painting of just random <laughs> scattered paints. Oh, God. Or it looks like, if you look like you think a nursery school got hired to put finger painting all over the trash bins. Oh. And, and are they called, is this like a very New England thing that they're called tins? No. Alum- I, well, John, yeah, I, an you? aluminum tin. Where they used to be the old little trash tins. They were very that. small. But don't the automated trucks yeah, just they, pick they, up the plastic ones now? No, 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 no. They gave me a big thing of water coolers, and they said, you could go paint all this. <laughs> and people step back, and they'll say, a lot of people are going, ooh, oh. Do you think that he is uh, really been sent back to nursery school, Billy Madison style, and they told him he had a job? He's got to do it all again. It's weird. They, 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 we, like, I take a nap at noon. Uh, I get dropped off. And at first, I cried the first time. But then, and then they, get, they gave me paint that you can oh, use your fingers. Uh, we sing songs. There's a story time. Bird just texted me. Oh yeah, what's he say? It's a it's a photo because he knows it's text, so he had to send a photo. Okay. Oh, he's doing it now. He's wearing like a, a blue velvet type mask. Tins. It's basically, I am grinding tin can tin cans, and um, ooh, that girl just walked right into the door, and, I- and now they're married, and that's how they <laughs> met. He finally met his intellectual equal. Excuse me, this is. F- this is fate. <laughs> I just met someone who walked into a door. If you're Maybe wa- there's been enough damage now that she's at my level. If you're wondering how this whole episode ends, we've we've reached about the end. Because, yeah, and uh, now they're engaged. Not, not that nothing, <laughs> nothing is going to bring them back from this moment. Ooh, that girl just walked right into the door. And I <laughs> tried not to laugh at her. <laughs> and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> And then five seconds later, he walked into the door himself. Bird sent me a picture. He says, in grinding dumpsters, but in this picture, it looks like he's painting at a construction site. So uh, they did talk a few minutes after that, and he said that they did give him, like, the full, like, uh, mask and everything, but he had to fashion his own suit. So they hadn't given him like the suit yet, so he kind of made one himself. I yeah, can he, only he, imagine. If you so, if you see Spider Man around, he took his old <laughs> Spider Man costume and right, I'm, I'm Spider Boy. But if you couldn't tell, that was the whole uh, that was the whole review of the. Can we use this for the radio? Yes, sir. Okay, and what movie did we just see? Furiosa, Mad Max, All right. Saga. <laughs> Very good. Mad Max Saga. In Mad Max Saga, whatever. <laughs> Furiosa Mad Max Saga. Oh, thank you so much, whatever. Bird. Yes, Everyone sir. loves Bird. Everyone loves Bird. Everyone loves Nick. He's been very busy of late. Uh, we'll be back with our friend Chris Forsberg for NBC Sports Boston as we talk about Game 2 tonight at the TD Garden. 